Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video and tell you all about a little bit about me and um, what God is doing in my life right now. So he is consecrating me and seeing where my heart is at and he has me separated from the world, if you will. Some of you know that I'm leaving my corporate job on Friday and kind of jumping in the deep end with the Lord and I don't know what's next, but I do house cleaning. So um, for the next two weeks, I'm booked out. And so God's like, I told you I would provide. Um, anyway, so it all started back when I was probably 18 years old. I got pregnant, I got married. I dabbled into drugs and alcohol, and in my mid-twenties, I met my youngest daughter's father, and we were to be engaged, and we dabbled in drugs, but God had mercy on me, and he sent me to a wonderful place called the Potter's House, and that is the very first time I ever heard God speak to me, and um, he spoke to me out of Deuteronomy chapters 28 through 31. And it changed my life. I was like, it was the blessings and curses chapter. It literally changed my life. And uh, from that moment on, I was like, okay, Lord, I don't want my kids to have to go through what I went through. And I want them to learn now what took me at the time, 29 years to learn. So um, God had called me back to my first husband uh, my oldest daughter's dad, and he said, I want you to learn to love the unlovable. Now, mind you, I wasn't in love at all with this man anymore. We were friends. We were cordial. I loved him as a person, but like in love, no. So I kept hearing seven years in my spirit, and it was like, okay, Lord, what does this seven years mean? I remarried him December of 2014. And I thought it was going to be great. God was going to do a miraculous work in him and in me. And we were going to be in full-blown ministry by now. But detours happened. My ex-husband and I both relapsed. However, I was severely convicted. And I turned to God immediately. And he gave me a radical transformation. I'm talking about he spent three days with me, walking with me, talking with me, telling me he was my husband, he was my provider, and not to worry. Well, my ex-husband and my husband at the time was gone during this time, and he was going out. He had a business, and he was doing all these different things, but he relapsed the first year into our marriage, second time being married. Well... Those, the last seven, the seven years later to the day, God was giving him a choice. Do you want your family back and your ministry or do you want to choose your path? He chose his path. And then God introduced me to a man who I am now married to. He's a wonderful man. He works hard. He loves us and um, he does know the Lord. Now, God is calling me higher because I had backslid for a whole entire year after that divorce and after Cliff did not, I'm sorry, my ex-husband did not turn back to the Lord and I was very upset. I was sad. I was not angry with God because God told me we all have a choice. If we don't have a choice, it isn't love, okay? So... Anyway, um, he chose the other way, and seven years to the day, he chose another woman. He had an affair and chose her, and I moved from where we were at back home to my dad's, and it took a lot of courage to pack up and leave because that's a 23-year on-and-off relationship to just vanish on my knees praying when I came to the Lord, September 4, 2015, I was on my knees praying in spiritual warfare for that man and for my family. Like, Satan, you cannot have my kids. You cannot have my family. However, we can pray those things, yes, but we never know what husband we're actually praying for. God showed me when I remarried um, my husband that I have now. He showed me that 
you know, you were praying for this man right here. And so, um, I say all that to say, you can lament, you can cry, you can repent, you can do all these different things, but we all have a choice. And we choose life or death, blessings and curses. So, at any rate, um, God restored me. He gave me my joy back. Um, all the backsliding I was doing for the first time in 10 years, I was like, wow, I can't believe I just did that, you know? But God reeled me back in real quick. He didn't let me stay long. Um, but anyway, He restored my soul. He restored everything that He promised me that He would. And um, so that's a little bit of my story. Um, there's a lot more to it, of course, but that's the gist of what I've went through the last 10 years. Um, God taught me how to be a successful business owner. He taught me how to love people where they are at despite their circ our circumstances and to love with God's love, agape love, true love. Now, He was showing me before the first time you were married, that was lust. This time, I gave you my heart. I even had a dream, you guys, of Jesus. And he said, this time I planted the seed. And he was sitting right next to me in my dream. And he looks over at me and he said, this time, my daughter, I planted the seed. And I woke up and I was like, wow. And it's no wonder he doesn't let us get far. It's no wonder he reels us back in with the staff. He loves you. He loves us. And there is no greater way than for me to become this close to the Lord than to have a husband the way that I did. I had to have an absent husband and feel like a widow in order for me to solely depend on the Lord and be sold out. God knew I had to fall that last year. He knew I had to fall. And the reason is he didn't want pride to set in. He wanted to remember me to remember where I came from, not to forget, not to judge others, because I myself am a sinner in need of grace. Hallelujah. All right, that's a little part of my testimony. Um, you guys pray for me. Friday is my last day at work, and um, we will be doing a lot more lives, a lot more things here. Um, I, this is going to be my job, you guys, is sitting on here talking to you all and cleaning houses on the side and, of course, some outreach. But I say all that to say, um, if you would ever like to donate or tithe or whatever seed planting, if you would like to, uh, my cash up is in my link tree, but um, I do have other outlets. But... God will provide. <laughs> I'm scared, but I know he'll provide. I love you guys. Um, he's holding my hand. I know he is. And all bitterness, all resentment, anything in your heart that you're holding on to from your past, let it go. It's time to jump in the deep. Okay, guys? Love you. Thanks. Bye.